Hi everybody, I am Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding type 1 and type 2 error. Most of the students are confused with these two terms that is type 1 and type 2 error. By watching this video, you will get an idea regarding what is type 1 error as well as what is type 2 error. Before moving to the topic, you should know regarding what is null hypothesis. Then only you will get a better idea regarding type 1 and type 2 error. So, let us see regarding null hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is a type of hypothesis which states that there is no relationship between independent and dependent variable. Null hypothesis is a type of hypothesis which state that there is no relationship there is no relationship between independent as well as the dependent variable so you will get confused i will give you a better example there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain this is a null hypothesis there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain it is a statement it is a null hypothesis if you want to know regarding hypothesis and the null hypothesis i have already done a video regarding that i will give the link in the description box just go through that so you will get an idea regarding what is hypothesis and what is null hypothesis now i will give a brief idea regarding null hypothesis null hypothesis is a type of hypothesis which state that there is no relationship between independent and dependent variable for example there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain is a example of null hypothesis it will always state that there is no relationship between independent and dependent variable now we can move to our topic that is type 1 error and type 2 error okay first one is type 1 error so what is type 1 error actually if you are a researcher okay if you are a researcher and a null hypothesis is there okay a null hypothesis is there actually you have to accept that null hypothesis with our example eating there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain we know that there is no relationship between eating a ice cream and your back pain there is no relationship at all so here type 1 error will occur when if the null hypothesis is rejected actually you have to accept okay actually you have to accept the null hypothesis by mistake what you have done you have rejected that time what will occur type 1 error will occur okay a null hypothesis is rejected actually you should have been accepted you have to accept actually but by mistake you rejected the null hypothesis our example is there is no relationship between eating ice cream and back pain by mistake you rejected this null hypothesis actually you have to accept instead of accepting you rejected the null hypothesis okay instead of accepting you rejected the null hypothesis this is the symbol of the null hypothesis that is h naught okay h naught is the symbol of the null hypothesis so type 1 error will occur when a null hypothesis is rejected actually it should have been accepted actually you have to accept the null hypothesis but by mistake you rejected type 1 error will occur okay so what is type 2 error type 2 error is just opposite to type 1 error here instead of rejecting a null hypothesis you accepted 
for example there is no relationship between eating ice cream and throat pain okay this is a null hypothesis there is no relationship between eating ice cream and throat pain actually there is relationship between eating ice cream and throat pain because for some children they will get throat pain after taking the ice cream our example in the null hypothesis is there is no relationship between eating ice cream and throat pain for the type 2 error our null hypothesis is there is no relationship between eating ice cream and throat pain so if you are a researcher actually you have to reject this there is no relationship between eating ice cream and uh, your throat pain actually you have to reject but what you have done you accepted okay when a null hypothesis is accepted actually it should have been rejected okay just opposite to type 1 here what you have to do actually you have to reject but by mistake you accepted the null hypothesis okay actually what you have to do you have to reject that statement you have to reject that null hypothesis but by mistake what you have done you accepted you accepted a null hypothesis actually you have to reject that null hypothesis okay so type 2 error occurred here you have accepted it was a wrong decision actually you have to reject in the type 1 the right decision is you have to accept the null hypothesis by mistake you rejected got it now i will give you a simple example so you will get a better idea regarding type 1 and type 2 error okay after completing the course you got a very good job offer okay you got a very good job offer with high salary less working time good working condition okay you got a very good job offer but you thought that it is not a good offer so by mistake what you have done you rejected your job offer actually what you have to do you have to accept okay it was a good job offer by mistake you rejected actually what you have to do you have to accept instead of accepting that job offer you rejected what happened type 1 error instead of accepting you rejected a very good job offer here type 1 error occurred so what is type 2 error with the same example you got a job offer but it was not a good offer for you it was less salary and poor working condition and the working hour is more okay you thought that it is a good offer actually it is a bad offer for you by mistake you accepted that job offer with low salary okay actually you have to reject it but by mistake you accepted a bad job offer what occurred type 2 error occurred clear no instead of rejecting you accepted okay type 2 instead of accepting you rejected type 1 clear no that's all regarding type 1 and type 2 error we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye